What's happening, good people? Welcome back to Searching for Tone. For your first time viewers out there, my name is Brian, and thanks for dropping in. Please go down and hit that subscribe button. You're gonna to wanna to see all the stuff that we're putting out. Today, we're looking at another Telecaster. Not really sure why after we found our perfect one, but we're gonna keep on looking at gear, see what works best for you, all right, today we're looking at the Folgel Telecaster in this nice surf green type color. They're currently on Amazon, I believe, for like $79. Might have been with a $10 off coupon. Depending on the prices, you may see them from $89 down to that, as little as that. I don't think I've seen it as much cheaper as that. And they come in several different colors and are just doing this review right out of the box. Unfortunately, I lost the unboxing video but you kind of get the gist of it. It comes with a chintzy little gear bag. Uh, the guitar was wrapped up in that nice screechy little styrofoam that takes forever to come off. And it comes with a cord and the adjustment wrenches for the uh, saddles and for your tr truss rod. So the description says it is a Phoenix wood body with a maple neck, rosewood fingerboard, and it claims to be a bone nut it looks very plasticky, so I'm not really sure if that really is a bone nut. And I'm sure the frets are probably nickeled. But they're actually, there's no sprouting. They're not rounded or anything, but it's not something that's going to cut your hand while you're playing. And uh, closed back tuners. Nothing too crazy. Two string trees. Uh, knurled knobs, kind of nice for, for gripping, especially when you have sweaty hands. Three-way switch and two single coil pickups. So we're just gonna do a quick little playthrough and then give you the overall impression of this guitar.
all in all, what I liked about the guitar is if you like a lighter type of Telecaster, it's definitely your cup of tea. It's not too, too light. I feel like it's in between the really light ones and the Tease guitar. And I kind of like the Tease because it has that, that heft to it. It's not as heavy as a Les Paul, but it's got some good weight to it, that Tease guitar. The neck felt pretty good. It's a nice slim C neck and the frets, they weren't ever, you know, felt like they're gonna slice your fingers off. So that's pretty good. There wasn't a lot of machine oil or anything like that to them. So they were actually pretty good right out of the box. The, the action was actually pretty decent. A lot of times you get these things that are super high. It was actually pretty, pretty close to the fretboard. There was some buzzing to it, but that was probably just needs a little bit of cranking down on the, the truss rod. But I like to do these things straight out of the box because a lot of the claims that are famous with some of these guitars is that they're perfect out of the box, they're perfectly intonated. So if they are, that means that when you apply a little attention to it, it should play perfectly right out of the box. And this wasn't too bad. It did go out of tune a little bit, but when you're doing a review like this, you do have lights beaming down on you. So it could be, you know, that the guitar warming up even more. What I don't like about it is I'm not crazy about the, the three, you know, saddles. They do look like they, you know, are grooved at least because there are some reviews out there of guitars where they're not even grooved. I don't even know how you make a saddle like that. Maybe that's how they were back in the day. But so at least they're grooved. The hard stopping in the back kind of doesn't look, you know, too pleasing to the eyes. We'll give you close ups of that. The paint job really wasn't that great either. I'll see if I can get it up in close-ups, but you could see here where it the it just they, they didn't get the paint on there on the on the very corners, and they you could tell it's not from wear or anything because I mean obviously it shouldn't be worn unless this was used and then sent back, which you never know. But there's clear coat over it, so to me it just appears that it was just not shot right and then it won't come up in the pictures really but you can see like just wasn't like the buffing job wasn't great you can see that there's lines in the clear coat itself uh, the switching not not terrible the jack actually i don't know if that goes caught on camera doesn't really sit in here all that nice it actually fell out just now just by gently shaking it so that's another Another issue, is it something that you could mod and make it better? Yes. So sound wise to the tease, I really give it like a two. The pickup, the neck pickup was very uh, muddy to me sounding, at least in the room. And then the bridge pickup was very like toy-like and uh, harsh. I'm probably killing my chances of Folgel ever sending me a guitar with a review like this. For the price, do I think this is better than the Tees? Because the Tees would be roughly about three times. And I would have to say, if you could save your money for a Tees guitar, instead of buying something like this and modding it, you're gonna get much more closer with, with that. It has locking tuners, it sound to, to me, like it didn't need any modification pickup wise out of the box. And if you are into modding, you could probably get something like this, take all the stuff out of that tease guitar, put it into here, and then have your way with the tease guitar. And then you'll have one that's halfway decent and one that is like absolutely to your perfect liking. So I think if you're looking for a knock around guitar to like just noodle around with, it's not a bad, price for if you can get it for $79 but if you're looking for something to mod I feel like that you might as well just get the tease guitar instead and you're going to get locking tuners you're going to get stainless steel frets you're going to get an awesome fretboard and to me it sounded great out of the box that you don't really need to mod it when you think about how much you're going to have to put into this thing and if you really want something that's, you know, string through too, 
then you're gonna have to do some modification that way, which might be a good way of you to get into the 4A of, you know, drilling through a body. And since it's not really an expensive guitar, you could do that. Let me know what you think about this guitar. If you have one, if you're gonna pick one up, but it sure still ain't no tease. I hope you enjoyed this content. Check out our links down below. We have a Discord, a Patreon, and our Facebooks and our Instagram, all down there for you to click on. Hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, stay tuned.